That is the question that lawmakers are tackling right now in the Tennessee legislature. But a lawmaker claims she is being singled out. Our Chris Davis breaks it down. When Knox County voters head to the polls this year, they'll be seeing double. Gloria Johnson vying for a Tennessee House seat, also Gloria Johnson vying for the U.S. Senate. It is in the law. It's been done before. People have been on the ballot for two times. Republican lawmakers now want to stop that practice. It's a, something that needs to be addressed. The proposed bill prevents someone from appearing on the ballot twice or holding two elected offices at the same time. Although Senate Republican leadership claims they came up with this bill before Johnson's announcement. I don't think it's directed at any individual. <laughs> Bless their hearts, it wasn't about me, huh? Well, that's funny because I've been hearing from their folks all summer long and since however long I talked about the potential uh, that they're going to bring a bill if I do. But this bill won't just impact Representative Johnson. There's a Republican in the House, Representative Esther Helton Haynes, who may also have to make a choice. That's because in 2020 she appeared twice on the Hamilton County ballot, one for the House, the other to serve on the East Ridge City Council. Haynes now tells News Channel 5 she supports this bill and has no plans to run again for city council. There have been situations in the past when people in the Metro Council were both a council member and a state representative. News Channel 5 political analyst Pat Nolan says while running and holding multiple offices has been a common practice, Representative Johnson may also be undercutting her own Senate campaign. And that sort of sends a message to voters of, well, I'm not so sure I'm going to get elected to the Senate. As lawmakers decide whether Knox County voters will see double, we saw the two sides double down on their attacks. Oh, she needs to choose what she's really interested in and not use one as a, 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 as a safety. These men are so easily triggered. Well. They are so emotional, and I think that they are too emotional to govern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chris Davis, News Channel 5. If that, if that bill passes, lawmakers who hold multiple elected offices right now, they'll be grandfathered in until one of their terms expires.